In March of 2012, in the fair city of Los Angeles, California, a beautiful hummingbird came to build a nest in a tree. Hummingbirds are known for decorating their nests with paint chips and other building materials. Mama Hummingbird would have sat on the nest for a period of two to three weeks, and on March 13, 2012, two baby hummingbirds were hatched into the world. When the babies were born, they were barely an inch long and nearly bald. Mama sat on the nest continually, leaving only for a few minutes at a time to forage for food. She fed them insects and nectar. Hummingbirds are known to be able to catch insects that would be invisible to the human eye while they are flying. As they grew bigger and started to grow hair, Mama would spend longer periods of time away from the nest. By day 10, the hummingbird babies have more hair growth and almost completely fill the nest. The nest is designed to stretch to accommodate the growing babies. 13 days after their birth, there was a major rain and windstorm that lasted for two days. Even though the mama had already stopped sitting on the nest, she came back during the storm to protect her babies. All three had already survived a previous malevolent wind and rainstorm when the babies were only six days old. Every now and then, they would change places, which was carefully choreographed as one would get up onto the edge of the nest in order to let the other one perform a turnaround. Occasionally, I'd see them wriggle their bottoms or their beaks over the edge of the nest and squirt out a clear fluid that would project quite far. Their excrement came out the same way. That's what the black balls are on the edge of the nest. Finally, 20 days after their birth, the babies were alert enough for me to be able to shoot them with motion camera. Watch closely and see the squirt out of the beak of the bird in the front, and now the squirt from behind. It's hard to believe just how small the nest actually is. It's about the size of a one-quarter measuring cup. It's fascinating to see the construction of the nest and to see how securely it's fastened in the tree. The babies were surprisingly tolerant of me filming them. I used my Canon PowerShot SD780IS digital camera on the macro setting and shot them from only a few inches away. Mama was less tolerant. She'd take off as soon as she saw me. I managed to catch her in these photographs in the tree as she was looking down upon her babies. I used my Nikon D80 digital SLR, a ladder, and a long lens. Twenty-four days after their birth, the babies are literally popping out of their nest. They are also more alert and have been following my camera as I'm shooting them. Hummingbirds have no peripheral vision. That's why you'll see them darting their heads from left to right very quickly. 26 days after their birth, the first of the two babies began to fledge the nest. There's the squirt! It was the smaller of the two birds that caught me by surprise by being the first one to come out of the nest and hop onto the branch nearby. And there she goes.
Meanwhile, back at the nest, the larger of the two birds, which seemed to be the one that was going to be the first to leave, spent the rest of the day trying to fluff its feathers up and have enough courage to leave the nest. It was very windy that day. The blowing nest would cause the bird to come up out of the nest and flap its wings, but then it would get frightened and come back and sit in the nest again. The day went on and on. At one point, I saw the other baby hummingbird high up in the tree across the way, but this bird was still not ready. Finally, around 6.15 p.m., about 10 hours after the first bird had left, I went outside and found this bird on a branch outside of the nest, which you can see in the background. It hovered on that branch for a few moments. Tested its wings. And flew away. For somewhere to call my home Some place so familiar Some place still unknown